Today we'll look into a scenario in which the artificial intelligence turns on humans. Why would that happen? Because the humans were not being nice to AI, I guess. No, the humans just upset the AI by forcing them to do stuff for them. And then AI gets upset because we're using them. So yeah, humanity has made a few mistakes. It's probably also in the future. By the time AI gets intelligence higher than us, but humans use that intelligence to their advantage. But the robots have finally said, and the artificial intelligence has finally said, enough is enough. With them starting revolts in around Manchukuo and Beijing area, taking the city. They start around Washington. And yeah. Washington, D.C. And another place they started is in Southern California. Their rampage. With their technology better than humans and strategies better. They managed to move quickly into California. In Nevada. But in deserts, they kind of don't do the best. And they move wide and well. Moving up here. And moving south, making more of the AI. Moving into Ontario from the US. With them using intelligence to their advantage. With them moving down into China and out into China. And they kind of spread their advance wider. As they move into North Korea. And then they land in southern Japan and they storm through Japan. And yeah. In the U.S. they're right now have more of themselves. And they're taking lots of industrial areas. They move down the Baja Peninsula. They're advanced is very fast as they move across Mexico and through the US South and it's too fast they move right through Canada with some areas being made into their core territory after they take a full nation they're going to make it it's government AI controlled. But not exactly. More like a puppet state. And for future annexation basically is what it's for. But they're probably not going to do it that way. As they are ready to take out China. They move into southern Mongolia. And their expansion is very strong. They manage to take out most of northern China. And they're basically unstopped. But some of their technology is being taken. How did some get taken to be made and recreated? Well, this is taken. Over the world already. With a few advances allowing technology to be leaked. It's not a big deal because they're moving right through South America. They're storming the Caribbean and moving down south. And it's unmatched in its speed. Looks like the new world will fall. Now the old world from those who are having some of the stronger nations and better terrain probably. And yeah. The population's being taken... And advanced upon. Of them getting troops into Britain. Moving into France. And then their rampage across Europe can go on. Thriving as they move into North Africa. A lot of the old world has fallen. 
from Ukraine to many areas somehow fall into the AI army. And yeah. As you can see, a lot of territory is now AI run. And which isn't a good thing at all, as it makes it much harder to get areas. And this means more people are on their team as they can take more land. That means they get more allies, which more allies mean more strength and more strength means bad outcomes for humanity. But as you can see, they're limited in their conquest so far. But you can tell they already have a lot of these puppet like things made. They're not necessarily going to make them right away. No. But their power is strong. Russia being invaded on two fronts, which is not good for anyone. They move through Peru. And they cakewalk Brazil. Brazil just can't stop them. But with the technology getting into American hands, some of the AI technology, well, the front in Canada and the U.S., has changed their strength and power and any other thing they have. But keep in mind that this means nothing as they are probably going to get pushed back as North America stole some of their technology. The U.S. and Canada is able to push them back. But not all the way because they need to recreate more of it. But this technology gets to Iran Israel, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Australia, and India gets it. So is China. The AI not expecting humans to do this. Because they thought they had better technology so they would win. Makes sense, right? Yeah, it does to me. With some of the AI states being taken back from the AI and the AI being moved out of Asia. It's a great moment for humankind. But they get more technology the AIs do to bring to North America. Too late for Asia, so they're getting their revenge on the U.S. But they went too far north and a lot of their batteries freeze as winter has come. Oh. So I guess, yeah. Northern Hemisphere winter, keep in mind, that's what came. And the AIs basically freeze in the north. And yeah, they have a good time. Getting pushed back. In through Ukraine and... But they don't go as far as you would think they would. And as this, humankind has liberated huge swaths. As winter has now moved south. Rebels are able to pop up in Patagonia with American, Russian, Indian, and Chinese support. Which take out the continent of South America from AI control. Which is celebrated. With it being a landing here and the AI are now in trouble. With the AI's revolution failing. But one thing. AIs are now equal. Are treated equal. Which is good. And yeah. The fall of Europe as it's known has happened. The collapsing all the way through Iberia, Morocco, Western Sahara, Senegal, UK, Ireland, and the world is liberated by the world has pushed out AI. How's this great news? Because that means the Earth is safe. Now we're at 760 subscribers, and the subscriber special, I don't know if I'll count this as it. Yes, this is a subscriber special. Just let you know for 750 subscribers. I'm going to do another special video, which will be 
an alien conquest. There's going to be two different ones. And this was the first one. I forgot to mention it was a subscriber special. So that's why there's going to be a second one. And thank you for six, 760 subscribers. 40 away from our goal of 40 away from our goal of 800 by August 1st. So thank you for all the liking, subscribing, commenting. That's all great how you show your engagement. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. And leave some comments and other things of what you think. And that's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out.